Hi, boys and girls. It's Mr. Wassman, and today we are going to further our understanding of division with the activity in our home links entitled Solving Division Number Stories. Take a look at problem number one. This is Unit 6, Lesson 3. Rosario sells bicycle wheels in packages of two, which would make sense because bicycles have two wheels. If a store orders 46 wheels, how many packages will she send? So if I have 46 wheels and I group them into twos, how many packages will that be? So my number model with the unknown is 46 divided by 2 gives me P, P for packages. Okay. Now off here on the left side, we see some twos in brackets. And whenever you put a number in a bracket or a uh, set of parentheses, uh, that means if there's a number on the outside, you need to multiply it. Okay, so this is kind of shorthand for multiplication. So they're asking you to multiply 20 times 2. Well, 20 times 2 is 40 because 2 times 2 is 4, and 2 tens times 2 is going to give me 4 tens. Okay, 21 twos is just going to be 2 more than 40, and then I'm just going to skip count by twos until I complete this column. Now, we were told that you want to divide 46 wheels into groups of two, and as you can see right here, 23 twos is the equivalent of 46, okay? So that means I would have 23 packages of wheels because 2 times 23 is 46. So 46 wheels divided into packages of two would give you... 23 packages. Okay? Problem number two is set up the exact same way as number one, except we are counting apples instead of bicycle wheels. Okay? So I'm going to skip down to the practice problems at the bottom because we need to be practicing our multiplication as well. You've probably started to pick up that division uh, involves a lot of multiplication skills. So let's take a look at problem number four, 25 times 30. Now, they wrote that as a number sentence, but I'm just going to rewrite it as a algorithm, which is up and down, 25 times 30. Now, using the partial products method, I can make quick work of this. I'm going to multiply 20 times 30, and I'm going to multiply 5 times 30. Okay? Well... 2 times 3 is 6, so 2 with a 0 times 3 with a 0 is going to give me 6 with 1, 2 zeros, okay? And if I multiply 5 times 3 tens, I'm going to get a total of 15 tens, otherwise known as 150, with 15 with a 0 behind it. And when I add those two numbers together, I get a total of 750, okay? So that is my product. 750. Pretty easy, right? Maybe not. Maybe this stuff is way confusing. If that's the case, then you need to talk to your math teacher. They are here to help you if you have questions, but they won't know to help you if you don't ask the questions. So hey, ask them. I hope this video was useful for you. I hope it helps you along your way while working on your home links. Uh, until we uh, talk again, friends, have a good day and good luck. Thanks.